Manchester has become official. UFC's headed back, big pay-per-view. Two British champions. Of course, Big Tom Aspinall and, of course, Leon Edwards are either on the card. It would seem as though both would be on the card. And a guarantee that one of them will be on the card. But nothing's been stated. Like, we wouldn't know, right? I mean, I'm just saying, if you, if you were to bet... Or even call it a guess. One of them is on the card. Can, can, can we agree on that? Okay, great. If Leon fights, it's going to be against Muhammad. Can we agree on that? Is there anybody else even in the running? Is there any other conversation out there? And feel free feel free to tell me there is or there isn't. I'm, I'm asking the question. Okay, great. Let's go to Tom. Tom would be defending the interim championship. Has that ever happened before? I can't recall it. That's off the top of my head. I didn't do any research, but I can't recall it. I know when Adesanya fought Whitaker the first time, Whitaker was undisputed champion, Adesanya was interim champion, and Adesanya said that he was defending his interim belt. But of course, that was just something that was said. The official contract and the bout agreement was over Robert Whitaker's. Undisputed championship. So I'm just asking, have we ever seen an interim champion defend? And is it the right move? It has been stated for Tom, is he right to go out there and defend the interim belt, thus risking the number one contendership, or should he just sit and wait? And it's a very interesting prospect of sit and wait for what? That's where we keep on getting jammed up. Like, we keep getting in the same car and driving into the same wall. The interim championship does not guarantee anything. We all look at it as a very clear and indisputable number one contendership. To not be denied. In fact, it is so high and so clear, Leah, number one contendership. That if the undisputed champion does not return, the person holding the interim belt will be recognized and anointed to the official champion. And there's nothing else like that. There's no other match you could win or ranking that you could have, number of t-shirts you sell or pay-per-view that you can draw. But in Tom's case, it's not maybe. It's been stated for sure when the undisputed champion returns, Tom will not be the one standing across from him. So it's a very interesting position. If you were to take Jones off the board, and you have to, and you were to take Stipe off the board, and you have to, with the players that you have left, and don't forget, Almeida went down to Curtis Blades. Now, Almeida was well on his way to being the number one contender and being the obvious choice to stand across from Tom. Now you've got, if you want to make a poster and you want to turn people's head and get people's interest, you of course have to go to Surreal. You just have a personal resistance on going to Surreal because Surreal dropped the bag so bad when Tom went and sat in the front row, right? I mean, it's, it's one of these things that brings you back to Curtis Blades. Now, if I was to make a prediction for you, it is going to be Curtis Blades. But... Nobody else is even contesting for it. Nobody's even contending these things. Like, there is nothing that would stop Surreal from being the guy if he simply went out and proclaimed himself the guy. If he simply went out, Surreal, and said, I am next. I am the one. You came to my country to pick a fight. I'm going to return. I'm going to come to your country and I'm going to actually do the damn fight. I'm going to one up you. He would then be in pole position, but he hasn't done that. And I can guarantee you he will not do that. So what does happen? What does happen with Tom? And, and in all fairness, does it make a difference to you? Does it make any difference to you if the number one contendership is not on the line? If that is preserved and sitting elsewhere, and it is, it happens to be in Cleveland, then what difference does it make? I'm just asking, what difference does it make who holds that belt 
if not only it doesn't mean number one contendership, it for sure isn't number one contendership. And what if they were both on the same card? What if Tom and Leon were on the same card? Now, Tom has headlined in England on two separate occasions, one time opposite Curtis Blaze and sold out in arena. But Manchester is a little bit of a different story. And generally, if you have two champions on the card, policy says the heavier weight goes last. But interim championship is going to be trumped by undisputed championship. And that one would matter. That one, all chips are on the table. So it's just a fun thing to guess, right? Not very many sports would work this way. Not very many things could work this way. Where you could announce a card, you could announce a date, you could announce an on sale, you could announce a brand without announcing a single athlete, let alone your feature matches, let alone your main event. Very few things. But it does leave us some room to guess. And I believe you're going to put Tom on the card. But if I'm wrong, if Tom Aspinall does not get placed on the Manchester pay per view, then Curtis Blades and Surreal have got to fight. I mean, the, the, the whole world understands it's between Curtis and Surreal. And the whole world doesn't really care which one it is. But, but for sure, it's between them. So instead of just playing this game forever, we got to have those guys fight. That, that would be my one offering. And as far as Leon goes, opposite Blahal, I think it's a great time to do it. My official prediction is that they both will be on the card. My official prediction is that the card would need both of them. And Dana did mention that he wants to return to Manchester and he wants to show his respect to England, considering he has two British fighters that are champions. So I'm just going to use that evidence. I'm going to put them all together. It's just a guess. Time will tell. We shall find out. But the fact that I'm over here debating it and the fact that no fighter has come out and claimed it, all Surreal Gone would have to do to get that fight is proclaim that it's his fight. That's it. And I can guarantee you, he's not going to do that. 